NZM with Alive, 11 tracks for 39 minutes, released November 2016, so it's an older one. Recorded at Beyond Dimension Studios in Florida, uh, mixed and mastered by Keith Rose. It's the third studio album from this band, founded and fronted by Nick Marinovich, who composes the music. He's best known for being the keyboardist and vocalist for Yngwie Malmsteen, and he sent this to us himself, which is really cool, which is a nice little nod. Uh, it looks like one single has been released <coughs> so far, and that's the title track. Who wants to go first on this? Oh, I met two of the guys after Ingve's show at Billboard either last year or the year before. I can't remember when exactly. When the backing band's album is better than Ingve's latest. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> wow. Um, I think they've been hanging around Ingve for a bit too long, though. Um, there was a bit too much influence of his style of... Music. Oh, and the franticness, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're all fantastic musicians, though. Um, I just think the songwriting needs work. Like, the <coughs> eBay stuff throughout the album gets kind of too much, but there are hints of Symphony X-style compositions, which was really cool, and I wish they'd do more of that. Um, yeah, like I said, great musicians, cool guys, but um, I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to listen to it, but it's not bad. Um, six and a half out of ten, and I forgot to pick standouts. You're doing a Jimmy this week? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jimmy. Uh, the, the band's Facebook page says they're rock slash power metal and after listening to the album that kind of makes sense it's got everything you would expect from the power metal genre with the virtuoso playing but there's also that dirty classic rock vibe between these songs I got and there's a bit of humour in the composition too a bit of um, I don't know how you put it but on some of the melodies it's kind of showing off mm, yeah. yeah no I get what you're saying yeah um, I found the album's opening track, Reckoning, to be a bit misleading. It gave me the impression it was going to be kind of dark and evil, but for the most part, it was the exact opposite. Um, to be honest, I prefer the power metal to the death metal, so that was cool. Just Reckoning seemed a bit out of place with the rest of the album. Uh, if you like power metal, you're going to enjoy this album. The musicians are great performers, and the singer has a really great voice on him. Um, it might require a few listens to fully appreciate what's going on, and mm. it could be a bit of a grow, but overall, I gave it 7.5 out of 10. Um, alive, get away, and I'm again on my standouts. Okay. So I put this down as power metal with grand scope and theme running throughout. They've gone for this whole mystical, fantastical kind of thing. I reckon they pulled it off. It's got wailing vocals over blistering duels between the guitars and the keyboards uh, with the drums and the bass holding everything together really nicely, which is well, well done. I enjoy the lyrics on this one. I thought they were really well written and it sells that mystical side that they're going for to me. It, they, they sold that to me. It was really good. And I love the fact that a classically trained pianist and vocalist is the primary composer for mm. this band. I really enjoyed that. It's very well composed in my opinion. I thought the writing was fantastic. Um, I find to the point where they've even inserted little classic comp- composition mm. moments within the songs. Like there's little nods to things from the classical <coughs> composers, the greats in the past, which is really refreshing. Uh, we do a lot of stuff that doesn't have that in it at all. Uh, uh, it can be a little bit frantic, like I think this was the the Ingve kind of uh, influence, I guess. But it's well done. It's well written and performed, and the production has done a good job of capturing the different dynamic ranges within the band really well. Everything has a space. It's all laid out really well, and there's some great use of space within the writing as well, which they've they've allowed things to breathe within the song, which I thought was really cool. So yes, it gets frantic, but they take they know when to take a breath, which is better than Ingve. He doesn't know <laughs> when to take a breath. Uh, just donut. They're not. Re- <laughs> he doesn't like donut. No, he doesn't. Uh, they're not reinventing the wheel, but they do have their own spin on the power or traditional metal style, and as such, it does stand out on its own, in my opinion. I I know what you're saying about the, the opening track being a bit misleading, but there was a bit of darkness underneath the whole thing, yeah. in my opinion. I started and to I, get that on the second listen. Yeah, and I and I like that aspect of what they've got. It's a subtle little insidious kind of mm. touch to it. Something in this puts me in mind of what we had with Airy on a little bit maybe the vocals and the keys just the use of it and a bit of Devon Townsend they're probably not as good as those two artists um, but it's very well executed product the track order as well is really thought out and, and the tracks are well placed and listen uh, Nick did send us his entire body of work outside of it so I'll send you guys that cool. stuff as well uh, and on the back of this I will be checking out the rest of his work in my opinion and that's what a new album from somebody not heard before is supposed to do in my opinion yeah, cool. if they make you want to go and check out the rest of the catalogue they've done the job well so I'm going to be checking it out Wait for it. This has peaks, troughs, and dynamics. <laughs> well, I finished my video, so. Yeah, you did. Uh, great Not album craft. No, great album craft, great diversity, great use of light and shade to give you a journey on a listen. There's some fantastic individual performances in all the fronts, especially in the solos, I thought, but everything serves the song. There's even little Gregorian chant moments in there, which I thought was <laughs> fucking neat. 
It's a great listen that grows on you the more you listen to it. It's better than Yngwie's latest by a long fucking way, and I don't care if you hate us for it. That's the truth. Nine out of ten, I gave it. A lie. Remember my name. No more lies. Get away. Truth. Raise your head. This one does grow on you the more you listen to it. I think I've given it a few spins. That's maybe why I've given it such a high score, but that's my opinion. Check it out for yourselves. Give us your thoughts. <laughs> Mr. Enthusiasm. Curve your enthusiasm much. <laughs> yep. Three, two, one. Awesome worlds with. <laughs>